Good morning. Uh, it's lovely to be here. Uh, so, as Devin has said, we have uh, yeah, bought you some books and some pens and all sorts of things that we hope will help you with your learning. Uh, back in Australia, I have four kids, and I have some other people with me uh, that are here today that have helped us bring these things to you. And we also have lots of kids at St. Mary's Primary School in Sydney, Australia. So, uh, it's great that we've been able to bring these things to you, and we thank Jeremy for helping us to do so, because without him, it wouldn't have been possible. And we hope to be able to send more things to you to help you with your learning, as our kids continue to learn over in Australia as well. Excellent. Well, we are coming to you live from 3,400 metres up in the Himalayas. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Certainly, <laughs> we are currently at the Sri Himalaya Basic School. So this was discovered in 1957. you hear a little bit more about that soon. And Hello. hang on one second. We've got Kushko here. Hello, nice to see you all. And Hi. Kushko's going to introduce you to someone here. Hi, Kushko. Okay, well, we, uh, we all like to inspire and aspire and make a difference. Good and there's uh, a couple of people that did that. In 1953, they were Tenzing Norgay Sherpa and Edmund Hillary. They were the first people to cl climb Mount Everest. And after Hillary established uh, climbing Everest, he didn't rest on his laurels. He actually established the school that we are now in. And Janling, uh, Tenzing Norgay's son, Janling, has not rested on his laurels. And he is our trek leader. And he is someone that also aspires and inspires people to make a difference. And he's going to do that for us on this trek. But he also does that for the people of Nepal and particularly the Sherpa people who he loves dearly. Here's Jamie Norgay. Hi everyone. Say hi. 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 Namaste. Namaste. So, can you say namaste over here? Namaste means hello, I salute your spirit. It's a, it's a greeting and we all use that over here. Jamie, so where are you going to take us? I'm going to take you all to Tokyo, and cross to Chola Pass, and then to Everest Base Camp, and then ultimately to Pine Island Peak, which is about 6,100 meters. What do you think our school could do to make a difference to the people in the pool? Well, I think uh, what you've done here, you've started, a, uh, started up a relationship and with the school here. And I hope that uh, we can continue the relationship with both the schools um, and uh, continue the support in the children here, learn more about Australia, learn more about the kids. So I'm looking forward to, you know, hopefully establishing some sort of a communication between the two schools. Oh, that's great. That's really inspiring, actually. Thanks very much. Well, thank you. Yeah. And then we've got another trick here, Mr. Michael Roberts. Hello everyone, hello Alex. I think you're there. Yes. So, yeah, look, we're not just going on a trek, we're actually climbing the mountain. And the chance of us getting up that mountain without the support would be 0%. Yeah. So, with help, maybe 10%. But uh, we couldn't do it without the Sherpas. Now, obviously, Jamlin is our uh, tour leader, but we've got three Sherpas helping us. Well, have you heard of a mountain called Mount Everest? But saying, how many times did you climb Mount Everest? I did that two times. Wow. Two times. And what was it like at the top of the sand? What was it like at the top of Mount Everest? Uh, it's not like it then. <laughs> 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 it's a good plan for Westerner, the shepherds. It's living in the in the Westerner. Yeah. We cold up the top? Yeah. yeah Everyone got a question? <laughs> Hey, how are you? Um, and also, so we're in a town called Nancy Bazaar, mm -hmm. and Nancy Bazaar sits right on the edge. Look at that! Right on the edge of a valley or a hill, mm -hmm. and in the background, there's lots and lots and lots of huge mountains. 
we walked here in two days and one of the mountains that we walked past on the way was this one that you can see up above the school and that's Tan Serku. So that's at over 6,000 metres. So we'll be going up something that's a bit like that but not, not as high. And so where we are now is at 3,400. And then we have to go up to So on this trip we also have uh, two other people with us. We have Dr. Bruce Bennett and Dr. Nairi Milner, who uh, are uh, trekking with us a lot and have been helping with the fundraising. And they're going to tell you a little bit about the school, and then we might even be able to pop in and have a look at one of those classes. Hi, everybody. It's a beautiful school. Oh, uh, we saw a, a wonderful step meeting. There's about 175 children here, and they uh, assembled on the uh, playground down here, which you can see, and they had a lovely marching band, and they all marched to school in, in, in a beautiful procession. Oh, it's a lovely school. The school was damaged uh, in the earthquake, and it's been rebuilt, and it is, uh, it is very nice. Uh, the kids have a beautiful uniform. Everyone was beautifully dressed. And uh, they're just fabulous looking kids. Thanks, Bruce. Probably not much more to add. Um, just uh, a few things that it was established by um, Ruth and Hillary in 1957. And um, Friends of Nepal are a group who built the new buildings in 2000 and 2003, but they were completely destroyed by the earthquake on Anzac Day in 2015. And then Another one on May 12th, 2015. So they had to teach in tents during after that time, and uh, the school finally was reopened in all the of houses here with the help of um, friends of the poor and support from the Italians. So, um, oh, yeah. and so uh, it, the kids are taught in English here, which I think is interesting. Yeah. Um, the teachers uh, go to Kathmandu, uh, uh, university education. Okay. Thank I think you. Some, some of the students actually would be very young, I would imagine probably three years old, uh, up to about year 12, uh, yeah, 12 years old, yes. so there's a very cute young children, <laughs> very cute. <beautiful. laughs> so let's show you the playground, this is the play area, they've got a soccer pitch, oh, and, and because it's so steep up here, they've got a big fence that goes around so that the ball gets kicked over. Well, it's a long way down to retrieve it. <laughs> and then those are the classrooms. There we go. So I think we might sit and take you inside one of the classrooms now. So look, we're going we're gonna go into grade six. There we go. Is it warm here now? Yes. 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 
So when the sun comes out onto us, we are reasonably warm, but in the morning and the evening it gets very cold. So when we we walked into Namsi Bazaar yesterday afternoon, and as we walked in, it was just snowing lightly. Is it cold or hot in Australia? The kids would like to know, is it cold or hot in Australia right now? Remember, it was minus five here last night. Oh, so, in a oh. moment, you're going into spring here, is that right? And then in Australia, it's going into autumn. So, we've just come through summer where our hottest day is about 45 degrees, and our coldest day in winter in Sydney at night would be about nine to ten degrees. But if you go further down Australia, it will be very cold. So up in Sydney, it's a bit warmer. Thanks, Bru. Got one more question for you. How many students at St Mary's Primary School? 372. How many children at this school? Yes. 175. Very good. 185. Fantastic. Okay, 185. Well, he can, we can still hear you. All right, so we, we might have some farewells with it's goodbye from Jamily. Bye. Bye, Jamily. Bye, Hassan. Bye. Bye, Hassan. See you, Alex. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. All right. See you later, Charlie and James. Give Bye. Sam and Lily a kiss for me. Love you very much, and I'm missing you lots and lots. And Bye. thank you, Tim, for setting this up. It's been fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome, Have Craig. A great trip. All right.